Hello, everybody, and welcome back to CNF Fun Rips. This is Frank. And Caleb. And today, this is episode four, and we're going to finish up this first, you know, tutorial on how to play Pokemon. Again, we bought two of these. Again, you can go to Target and get any level one you want, or you can get that really, I forget the name of the Pokemon Training Academy. I think that's what it is, and that's even more basic than this one, but... It's up to you. I mean, these already these sets come already built. You don't have to buy any cards. You, it's already a good set. You're ready to go. So if you recall last time, Caleb was in a good spot to win or at least have a strong hand. It's my turn. So I had no cards in my hand. He has, how many do you have in your hand? At Four. least I have none. I, all my, that's okay. That's I can draw. So again, it's my turn. I'm gonna draw for turn. I got an item card switch. It says switch your if, and I'm not going to use this. I'm just going to read it to you right here. Or why don't you hold it, son? So and, and switch I, your active Pokemon when your bench Pokemon. But you're not going to use it because you, like... It, it serves no purpose. Or actually, I'd say you should because if you do, you can move this guy up and then draw a card with his at attack. This guy's attack and draw a card. Oh, yeah. Good point. So I good say point. you switch. All right. So I'm going to follow my son's advice, right? Normally, we wouldn't be chatting strategy when we're playing, but we're, what's this is a tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and play this switch. So this is my active Pokemon, right? So again, it says switch your active Pokemon with one bench. of your bench. So I can pick anyone, but I agree with my son. And switch means they're just like, changing spots. That's it. You know, same with he goes to the bench. And same with retreating. Yeah, we'll get to that yeah, in a minute. Retreating, you have to like yeah. cross it. Yeah, we'll, energy right yeah we'll, 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 cro we'll cross that bridge on retreat when we're ready to do it. Maybe Caleb will do that very soon. I probably will. Yeah, he'll probably retreat in a minute. And So anyway, so I'm going to switch, just like it sounds. I'm going to put this in my discard pile. Here's my discard pile. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to switch, right? Mm -hmm. Move the room up here and... Um, Move him to my bench. So again, I still have one, two, three, four cards. I don't. I used to have five on my bench, but remember, Caleb last game knocked one out, so he pulled a prize card. It's still my turn, so um, I'm not going to attack yet. There's really actually this. I can't. Put, I don't have any cards to put on my bench. I don't have any cards to attach an energy. I can't retreat. I switched instead of retreat. I can't evolve. Can't play. I already played a trainer card. You can use it. Actually, and you can, I can't though. use an ability, Even which ability is in red. I mean, we're not there yet. We'll get to that one day. Maybe next episode or maybe this episode comes up. Attack with your Pokemon. So now I am going to do a huge attack. And I'm being sarcastic, of course. Okay. I'm going to do the spinning draw, right? Which is draw a card and then I damage him for 10. But now, basically, I would have... 50 damage when I'm just taking these off and just placing he's these put, Yeah, you can do the same thing. You can get all your 10s if they add up to a certain number, right? So now he's 50. Mm -hmm. I still need 60 damage counters, or not damage counters, 60 damage to Ten knock him counts. out. That's a long ways to go. So, and did you draw? I didn't, so it's, again, part of this attack was that I, I can draw a card, so but, but my turn's over anyway, so. Yeah, and then, so for me, I'll draw for turn. Um, I think I'll attach for turn. Oh, to my um, Halden. Okay. And then I will. Um, I think I'll just use Youngster, which it says shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards. All right. So read that one more time. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards. Okay. So. so I'll be able to like shuffle my hand. Which so that's this. his hand. He has those cards, right? And just cut, just cut it, just cut it in half. You know, normally he would do a better job of shuffle. It, it's it's not too important, my buddy. Yeah. My son, just just for the sake of time, let's just cut it. Yeah. So five. So cards. he drew. So he discarded. Now he didn't discard his hand. He shuffled his hand. So you got to read the direction. Okay, this is the worst. I just got three supporters and then two energies, which I can't do anything else. Oh, your, your bench is pretty much full anyway. So technically what you're looking for right now is probably some supporter cards, trainer cards, I'm sorry, and maybe some energy, right? Uh -huh. So anyway, let's go down. You drew a card. Mm -hmm. Did you put a basic, well, you can't put a basic Pokemon, basic yeah. Pokemon on his deck because his bench is full. And attach one of your energy cards. Did you attach already? Yes. Or you didn't. You did. And I'm going to actually retreat okay so let's please bring the card up so they can put the put the damage on the just side the, just the card that the no uh, just the card umbreon. that shows how to retreat so yeah. it's umbreon it's focus shows. really close on the 
on the retreat. Right there, like retreat is right there. Okay, so let's just say, folks, says retreat. What's next to the retreat? One colorless energy. So basically, There's it's one. saying you can discard any energy to retreat from him and from the active to the bench. Oh, and I, and I forgot to mention, folks. This is a good point. For him to to use this attack, he needs to have a, a darkness, dark a darkness energy. energy. Now, if you notice the attack below. How many darknesses does it show? Only one and, and how, two what, colors. And, and colorless means it could be any, any card. Energy. It could be fire. It could be leaf. leaf. It could be Psychic. electric. There, there's, yeah, it could Whatever. be there's a lot of them. It doesn't matter. It could be any yeah. card, right? It could be three of the same darknesses if it wants. But anyway, so the retreat costs what? One. So one I, what? Specifically. One and colorless. Any energy. So yeah, so it, it could be I, anything. I only have one energy, so I'll discard this. So wait, let's, let's. So in order to retreat, you have to discard one of your energies. One. And it goes into discard pile. It doesn't go back into your hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Usually, when you retreat, it's because you want to put a, a better hand into your active spot. Or another reason why people retreat, let's say that this card that Caleb just retreated had, let's say it had 100 damage on it. And Caleb's like, uh-oh, the next turn he's going to knock me out. So he retreats him. And he's safe on the bench, right? Because he's not, I can't, normally I can't attack his bench. Now, of course, if I had this card, I could attack his bench like Caleb did to me. But... That's that's not all the time. So anyway, um, retreating doesn't mean like your damage resets. Doesn't yeah. mean that you so. retreat, you still have your damage. And folks, try to keep good housekeeping. It makes it a little easier, right? So now I can easily see stage one, and he has two energy, right? Some people I play with are very bad housekeeping, and it's really and annoying. I would do ninety damage, which knocks him out. And it also wait, please, please. Tell the people what you're doing, my and boy. And it's um, Evil Claw, which does 90 damage and knocks him re out. Re read and this. the fine print is, if the defending Pokemon is a basic Pokemon, it can't attack during your opponent next turn, which means that like if you bring up one of your Pokemon and it's a basic, it can't attack. No, you knocked him out, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. So in other words, let me, let me add some background to that. So in other words, which attack you're using? The Evil, evil Claw. claw which is 90. So but it doesn't matter if you read the fine print or not. 90 does what to my... Um, it knocks him out. It knocks him out. 60, he is knocked out. However, however, I'm going to throw him over here because you knocked him out. Let's say I had this guy in the active spot. Mm -hmm. He just did 90 damage. So what is it? What is it? Just folks, what is this? What's my HP? 130. 130. So that's how much it's going to take for him to knock this guy out. Would this attack of Evil Claw of 90 knock him out? No. No. Right? But it probably almost. But it's close, but it doesn't knock him out. However, now, what does a fine print say? Um, he can't attack. So, in other words, let's say that I had, I, I can attack for 100 or whatever. I had four on there. This little fine print says, now that he attacked me, I put 90. I can't attack. So, you can see there's some little rules that give you advantages in the Pokemon game. And that's why sometimes people play certain cards in the active spot. So what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, this is not good for, for Dad here because all my attacks are terrible, right? Except for this guy, and it's going to take a whole lot of... Um, uh, energy cards to get this guy fired up. Oh, so you I should attach an energy to him. I have four cards, so that let you. I uh, five cards. I'll let you have five cards in your hand. No, no, that's okay. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to confuse people. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this guy up here. Uh, listen, Caleb is in the, in the driving seat, so to speak, in this match. So what happened? You knocked my card out, right? Mm -hmm. What did you What did you forget to do? Uh, I was going to take a price okay, card, but I was listening to you. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, that's, normally, he would swipe up the price card, but since we're chatting a lot, we, we're a little bit off, off target. So so because he knocked my basic card, basic Pokemon, he gets a price card. So now he has four price cards left. Once those four price cards are done, he wins the game. And look at mine. I haven't done anything yet. Nothing. I'm getting terrible, terrible draws. Or maybe this deck's pretty, pretty bad. I don't know. I've never played this deck before. So you attacked. Your turn, turn is over. Dad's turn. First thing, draw a card. Draw a card. All right. Not, not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this one right now. So this is what I have here. I, I, I have two options. Technically, I can use both of them. I'm gonna play my supporter card, and again, 
can only play one supporter card per turn, Nimona. And I like Nimona. And it says draw three cards. So I'm going to go ahead and play that, put it in my discard pile, and I get to draw three cards. You're just hoping for that stage, too. One. Oh, three two, cards. three. So I'm going to show you what I draw, what I drew, I should say. You got the Terrible. Oh, yeah. So I wish I would have. So I got a youngster. What is a supporter card, but guess what? I cannot play him because I can only play one supporter card per turn and I got an energy card. And then I had this other item card. Energy sticker. Right, energy sticker. <laughs> and it says flip a coin. But, oh yeah, you do have one, so. You so, can use it. it says flip a coin. If heads attach a basic, notice a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your be benched Pokemon. So, so since when Caleb knocked me out, this is my discard. I do have a, an energy card. So, according to the rules, what does it say I need to flip some? A coin. Well, you can do a dice, but you should... Flip a coin. Uh, if what, though? Heads. Heads. If you can put And I can take one energy card out of my discard pile and put it to my bench. So... Some people like to do a flip this way, this way. I don't care. Woo! Heads. So look at this, folks. Heads. Good. Finally, things are turning dad's way. So I got heads. So now I can take one energy, energy card. But I have to. Can I attach it to my active? Yeah, I No. Well, you Read the directions. Wait, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. I should have showed it to you. Um, it says... Am I... Am I oh, wrong way. I'm always backwards there. It, Okay, here we go. I can get it there. Here we go. Oh, yeah. One of your bench. To my bench. I'm going to put that on my discard. This is my bench. I am going to put it on... Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm going to put it on... God, this is a lot. I'm going to put them on bronzer. I don't, there's not a lot of... You can see these these are, these are beginning cards aren't... These basic... The, the, the attack is very small. All right. No problem. Now, let's see. I drew a card, put a basic on that bench, which I did. Attach an energy, which I have not, correct? I, I put one. No, no yeah. this is the difference. The card allowed me to put an energy card on my bench. That does not count as attaching a basic energy to your, you know, to your cards during your turn. So let me repeat that. I, you can always attach an energy card during your turn anywhere you want. But this special card allowed me to take it off my bench and place it. Take it, I'm sorry, out of my um, discard pile and put it on my bench. So hopefully that made sense. Rewind it. If it didn't, hopefully I could set it slower. So I still need to attach for turn. I am going to, man, I probably should have put that on my earthworm. I'm going to go ahead and put it on my bronzer. And then, what is next? Evolve. I can't evolve. I don't have ability. The next thing to do is attack. I'm going to attack for 20. Not that that does any damage. So, Caleb. I'll, we'll I'll do it. I'll put it on. Put 20 on there. 20 damage on him. All right. This guy Let me get the coin out of the way. So, it's now your turn. So, let's well, let's try to go a little bit here faster. Well, yeah, hopefully, I have explained enough on, at least on the basic oh, turns. Again, always refer to this little sheet here you know it comes with the sheet i didn't put mine out because not enough room on the camera um, what are you doing right now i'm attaching okay. for turn so did you you drew a card drew a card I don't you don't have, have any room well you don't have to go in the zigzag uh, no i know you don't i'm just for the for the people my boy for the people yeah just to let them know that you can go down the list as, you, as you're beginning well, yeah, to go down the card, list my son I, put, I didn't put any basic i attached for turn i don't want to retreat i don't i can't evolve like I, I'm gonna play trainer. Okay, so I'm gonna play Nimona, which you guys probably know. Draw three cards. Okay, so put that to your discard pile and draw three from the top. One, two, three. Energy sticker. Do I have any? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna use Great Ball, which look at the top seven cards of your deck and put any Pokemon you find there to your All hand. right, so it's seven cards. I'm gonna repeat that, and. He can put how many? One. One. So even if this he... This is the guy I was looking for. Yeah, so he can have seven Pokemon in his hand right now, but he can only put one in his hand. Now, does it say to reveal it? Um, 
some, yes, because, like, some people might try cheating by, like... No, 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 I, I agree with you. I just, does it say that in the card? Right, I didn't hear you. reveal it. Okay, so, yes, yeah, so again, friends, please read the... the I, I didn't catch that when Caleb was saying that. So, make sure... Well, you may, when, but, it, like, it only means may, like, if you don't want to put any Pokemon. No, 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 but if you do pull a Pokemon, a Pokemon out of the top seven cards, you have to reveal it. Because not that people would cheat. I imagine some try to. What if they needed a support a card or an energy card and then they didn't show you? Then they could have technically took a card they really needed. But no, they have to show you the basic card. Did you grab one, by the way? Yeah. Which one was it? This guy, and I'm Evolved Nibble into little clicks, and up here it says Evolves from Nibble. Okay. So, in other words, here's a good example again that it, it's evolving from the basic grass Pokemon to a stage one darkness Pokemon. So they don't always have to stay in the same energy, right? So this is going from grass to darkness, right? We, we've seen that quite a bit so far. And just to let you know, there was another one. I think it went from colorless to darkness. I haven't even saw any, any stage ones on my hand yet. So anyway, so you, what did you do? You evolved? I, well, I did everything. Okay, so now so I'm I just going to attack for 90. Oh, yeah, knockout. that's right. What do you, which one? Wait, please. It's Evil Claw, which um, if it's alive, yeah, yeah, he yeah, can't yeah. attack. But yeah, yeah. He just does 90 knockout yeah, yeah, for Evil yeah. Claw. I know. Sometimes, folks, me and my son were, you know, this is a tutorial, so normally we wouldn't say i'm attacking for evil claw but when you start playing against other people it's always a good idea to tell that your opponent what you're doing so you'll say so from now on caleb will probably say okay i'm gonna i'm gonna attack for 90 with evil claw or i'm gonna attack evil claw for 90. right so this way the person knows what you're doing they don't there's no funny business so caleb knocked this guy out and did you take a prize card I already did. so now i have to move a card from my bench to the active spot so i'm gonna move bronzer up you can see I only have two on my bench. It's not looking good for Dad here I'll tell today. You, I have eight cards on my hand, so you're gonna use that. Okay. Well, yeah. So you attack. First thing I'm gonna do: draw for a turn. And always remember to do that, folks, because even before you, let's say you want to have an energy you wanted, please always, always, and I forget to do this sometimes too: draw for turn. Because sometimes you get so excited, you want to play a card. You're already doing strategy in your brain. And you forget to do the basic thing, draw a card. And once you start doing stuff, you're like, did I draw a card? And, you're, and, you're, and your opponent's not going to tell you. So if you drew a card and you try to draw another one, then you're going to get in trouble. That's, that's a penalty. And if you're not sure if you drew a card, you're going to like, I better not draw a card just in case I drew one. I, so that's why the first thing, always draw a card. Just get it out of the way. It's the best thing. So I'm going to draw a card. I got an energy and I got a youngster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Yeah. Before now, listen, folks. So this says right here: shuffle your hand into your deck. Now you can still play cards before you activate this trainer supporter card. So I have an energy card here. So you want to attach it, right? So most likely, I I want to attach it first before I shuffle my car, my deck into my or my my deck. Or my hand, I'm sorry, into my deck. So I'm going to do that because I don't want to throw all this in there. Because what if I don't get an energy card out of my, what, five cards? Then I'm like, oh, I messed up. Um, I'm going to attach it to him just for the fun of it. All right. I mean, this dude evolves into the EX. Oh, he does? Okay. Then I'm going to put it to him. All right. So I'm going to put it there. Now I'm going to use my... Youngster. Which... Youngster. So I need to show... So before I do that, I have to put it down. I'm gonna, I'm showing Caleb, hey, I am going to play the supporter card. I forgot to do that. We've kind of been, that's an important step, folks. You got to, you got to put it down. So right. they can like grab it. So, so if they want to grab it, say, you know what, I'm playing this. We've been avoiding that. And I apologize. I should have mentioned that, that whenever you play a trainer card, put it down on the table. Probably upper right hand corner between the actives. You know, I think I don't know if I have a spot on here for that or not. No, no there isn't. So you just kind of put it right in between any support card you play. You gotta put it down. So this and it says shuffle your hand. You know, I only got one card so in I my just hand. Put it, and so I'm gonna put this. Just this put I'm gonna just put it at the bottom of my deck because I it does just that's my one. shuffle for now. And I'm gonna draw five cards. One, two, three, four. And five, and of course I didn't get any. Well, and this now goes to my discard pile. 
I just put it there so he could see it. Once it's done seeing it, once I've utilized uh, the uh, the action on it, then just put it to your to your discard pile. So hopefully I'm going slow enough. I'm I'm trying to go slow so at least you can always rewind. And even if I forget to say something, you can kind of at least follow my actions of, of what I did during that turn. So I pulled three basics, one energy, and a trainer item card. What are right. Those guys? All the same um, ones for the most. That's down. that's a new guy I that's haven't seen. That's a guy that you put down. Yeah, so I'm gonna. So technically, I can. It's still my turn. I can put as many basic energy down as I want until it fills my bench of five. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do it just because I can. There's one, two. You can put two more guys down. Three. I and think you should only put. Those I'm just gonna down. put these down for now, just for the fun of it. So I got one more space, even though I got a basic in my hand. You don't have to fill your bench out. You can keep them back if you want. It's up to you. Yeah. And I already attached for turn, and already going down. Yes, yes, yes. I haven't attached. Yes, attached. I didn't retreat. You don't have to. I don't need to I retreat. Think you should. Yeah, I don't think you should. No, I'm not you gonna retreat. Use... I can't evolve. I played a trainer card already. Did I play a trainer card? Yes. Yes, you I did. Use I don't have an ability to use. Now it's time to attack. Use this. So I'm gonna use. Um, use this one because then you'll be able to draw yes. two. This is a good. This is. Six, this eight. this is a good one, right, folks? Look at, I'm gonna flip it around. It says, um, draw cards until you have this. Oh, up, like this way, this way. Yeah, draw cards until you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent. So I have two, four, six, eight. So how many cards do you have in your hand? I have three. So you you draw five cards. Yeah. So let's repeat that one more time, real fast. So this attack, mirror drive. You notice it does. There's no damage here, so I don't put damage on Caleb's. So he he gets no damage if I use this. If I wanted to put damage on here, I would have used Speed Drive because I have two energies. You can see here, it's right? One, two. I could have used Speed Drive and then put thirty, which would have meant fifty. But it's two seventy. I'm just nickel and diming damage, which isn't isn't gonna help me. I need to get a stage one into my hand you to need do to any. Get your own guy. Yeah, I need a evolve one of these cards into something more powerful so i'm going to use mirror drive which really doesn't put any damage it just allows me to draw cards that's that's the attack and i can draw five since he has eight cards i only have three i can draw five. One, two, three, four, and five and of course i did not get the card that i wanted just got some support trainer cards well, i guess you can use yeah jock because yeah. jock will search for two evolutions so you'll be able to get him next turn yes and I did, and I used already my supporter card. Remember, only one supporter card per turn. I can use item cards, so I can switch if I wanted to. But that's probably not. Well, actually, no, because I already attacked. My my turn is over. That is correct. So turn over. Now okay. it's Caleb's. Okay. So, so we're gonna have turn. to make this pretty quick, Stan. Uh, we may have to we may turn. have to do another one to finish this game. I think. I use um just energy sticker. Where's the coin? Oh, there it is. Here. Um. Tails, whatever. Now it's a terrible flip, by the way. Okay, you flip it then. Yeah, so what is it you want? You want heads or heads. tails to show? Heads. Which, which, do you want me to flip heads. tails or flip heads? Heads, whatever. It doesn't matter. And you still got there tails, you. so you can nothing. That's what happens when you let me flip for you. <laughs> think I want to get you as good? Um, All right, so I would just, let's just make this quick. Why don't you just attack? Wait, let me just use Rourke to draw two. Wait. Oh, yeah. Again, Rourke, please sorry. show the, show the folks, the my boy. Here are the two cards I got. Oh, my God. Um, I worry about that. Just the show Rourke, them um, where Draw we're. two cards and put a basic energy card from your discard pile into your hand. Yeah, so go ahead and do that. I'm going to reread okay. it again. These are the two cards I just drew, and then I'll put this card into my hand. So it says to draw two cards, what you did, put a basic energy card from your discard pile into your hand, which you did. Now, folks, again, what kind of card is it? Trainer card? Yeah. And it is a supporter. How many can you use per turn? One. One. I'm throwing that in. And I'm just going to use these two potions right now. So I'm using my first potion, which allows me to heal 30 damage from mine and my Pokemon. Heal Houndor. So he completely healed Houndor. And then I'll use another potion to heal 30 damage from this guy. Yeah. So, again, you can use as many item cards as you want. And, and he time. did, and, and each took each card healed 30 damage from each Pokemon. This had 20, yeah. so it cleared it completely. I, this other one had 50, so obviously 50 subtract 30 is 20. And so. I use Evil Cloth for 90 damage, which is knockout. All right. So he knocked me out again. 
Okay. So, folks, I think based on what's happening here, you, you're going to... Do you guys see the pattern that my son's putting me in? I, I have no stage one, right? And even if I did get a stage one, it's probably going to take so much energy cards to well, power this them up. Guy, this, no, he... Um, I think that stage one only needs, like, one, and then he just does, like, 30 more damage. Yeah. He does 90 damage, and then 30 more damage for each energy. That's metal attached okay. to him. So what I'm going to do is... It, when there's a game that you know you can't win, you can Just concede. concede, right? And I, I think no matter what I do, even if I got them right now, he his deck is his bench is powered up, waiting to pounce. My deck is powerless, and so what I'm gonna do for this final episode, the next episode we're gonna play a whole game from scratch. I'm gonna we'll put both mats out. I'll, I'll move my camera back a little bit higher. And then we'll go through a one okay. complete game. Hopefully, it won't take more than thirty minutes. We'll, we won't go. As, uh, I won't take as many breaks to explain. Hopefully, you, you know, maybe when we reach something like the ability, we'll take a few a minute or two to explain that. But I, I think we've kind of touched almost everything that you're going to need to know for this uh, level one deck. So I am going to concede because I know I can play another twenty minutes, and he's gonna. He only has two prize cards left, and he's gonna win. It, it is a done deal. There, there's, if he had five prize cards, then maybe I would continue the game. But I am conceding, so, so we can get I, to the next. So we can get to the next game, so right? I win. So he wins. So I get point one. Yeah, he got <laughs> and point then one. Next game, we'll see who wins. So folks, we appreciate you hanging out and hang, you know, making it to the end of this almost thirty minute video. If you did, hopefully you can rewind it, fast forward it. If you if you caught anything that you, we missed, please do. And Sunny, got any closing words for the folks? Well, if you enjoyed the video, maybe click the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. All right, we'll talk to you later.